In this video, we will name simple ionic compounds. In an ionic compound, the first element is always a metal and it is positively charged. The second element in an ionic compound is a non-metal and it is negatively charged. Or it could be a polyatomic ion with a negative charge. The name of a non-metal ensign IDE or IDE. The name of the polyatomic ion is used as such. It does not change. The total charge of an ionic compound is always zero. Some simple facts to keep in mind. Name the metal first. Name the non-metal second. Name of the metal is written without any change. Name of the non-metal always ends in ide. Here is an example for you. In this compound, you have calcium and chlorine. The metal in this L compound is calcium and the non-metal in this compound is chlorine. There is no change in the name of the metal, but the name of the non-metal has to end in ide, therefore it changes into chloride. Notice that the number 2 is never mentioned in the name of the compound as we do in molecular compounds. Here, we take the total charge to be 0 and for that reason we do not indicate the number of elements present in the compound. So this compound is called calcium chloride. In the second example, the elements present are potassium and nitrogen. The metal is potassium, therefore there is no change in the name of the metal. The non-metal is nitrogen and non-metals always end in IDE, therefore it changes into nitride. So the name of the compound is potassium nitride. In the third example, we will see a compound formed between sodium and a polyatomic ion phosphate. The metal is sodium. There is no change in the name of sodium. The polyatomic ion is phosphate and there is no change in the name. It does not end in ide. It's simply called phosphate. So the, so the name of the compound becomes sodium phosphate. In the next example, you have a compound formed between sodium and sulfate. The metal is sodium. The non-metal, we don't have a non-metal, we have a polyatomic ion here and the name of the polyatomic ion is sulfate. Therefore, the name of the ionic compound will be sodium sulfate. In this example, we have sodium combining with phosphorus to form an ionic compound. There are three sodiums. Therefore, the name remains sodium for the positive part. For the non-metal, the name of phosphorus changes into phosphide because if it is an element which is a non-metal, the name always changes to IDE of phosphide. So the compound is called sodium phosphide. Here are some examples for you to work on. You may pause the video, solve the questions, and then check your answers. Here are the answers to the examples. The first one is sodium acetate. The second one is magnesium sulfate. The third one is aluminum nitrate. And the fourth one is barium bromide. It would be a good idea to review names and formulas of polyatomic ions before you start naming ionic compounds. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't hesitate to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.